Hi guys, welcome to Urban Treats, where we show you easy recipes you can make at home. Today we are making a traditional Austrian recipe. This is a poached chocolate cake, so it's not baked, not in the oven. We actually simmer this in a hot bath of water and some ramekins. It is so light and fluffy and just totally rich in flavor. Trust me, everyone will love this recipe. Don't forget, the ingredients are in the description. Let's get started. We're starting with the first part of the recipe and for that we have to cream the butter together with half of the sugar of the recipe. In total we need 75 to 80 grams of sugar for this recipe but we're only going to use half and cream that with the butter. Now you will need a hand mixer for this. When the butter has turned pale and creamy, we add in our egg yolks. And you can add them as you whisk, just like half of them first, and then add the other half at the end. Now we add 15 grams of breadcrumbs and slowly whisk them in two. They don't need too much, just a little. And then we add the almonds. So we have 75 grams of finely ground almonds and we'll just add those in and give them a quick whisk as well. And the very last part, 75 grams of finely ground chocolate. Just add that in your bowl. And we'll whisk that in too. The first part of the batter is ready and we are ready to prepare the meringue for the second part which we're going to fold in to this nice chocolate paste. Now for that we have to make sure that the bowl is completely clean and the whisk is completely clean too because otherwise your peaks won't stiffen and you won't be able to get a nice thick meringue. I'll just wash everything out quickly and I'll see you back for the next part. Time to prepare the meringue and for the meringue we need the four egg yolks that we have from the first part of the recipe and we'll just add them into the bowl and we'll whisk these until we have soft peaks. Once you have soft peaks, you can add in the remaining sugar. And I'm also adding half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, which is going to help bring everything together much easier. Now you want to whisk these until you have stiff peaks. So you can see here, the peaks hold by themselves, which means the meringue is ready. We'll just set the mixer here aside and we can now fold this into the rest of the batter. So all you need to do, get the meringue. It's best if you use um, a silicon spatula or a wooden spatula and just place it over the batter. That's it. And then we'll carefully fold it into the mix. And the name of the game you hear is don't break the bubbles. You want to be really careful. Just pick up the batter from underneath, fold it over, and keep repeating until you have a smooth and even batter. And 
the batter is ready. All we have to do now is place it into our ramekins and then cook it. And we're not baking this, we're actually cooking this in uh, a bath of hot water. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, let's portion it out and then I'll show you how we go to the next step. And that's it. Each ramekin is approximately three fourths of the way full. And we don't want to bother the, the dough too much. We, we just want to shake it to get any air out of the bottom of the ramekin. Just a little bit, don't overdo it. Okay. These are ready. I'm gonna prepare the water bath and I'll see you in a second. Time to poach our chocolate cake. And yes, we're actually poaching this. We're not baking it, we're not cooking it. We're gonna have some hot water, put it in the pot, and we'll poach it for 45 minutes until it's nice, done, and fluffy. Now here's how you do it. All you have to do, place your ramekins into a big pot. And now we add hot water until about three-fourths of the level of the ramekins on the outside. Careful, you don't want any hot water to go into your batter. That's it. And we set our hot to a medium-low heat. We don't want it to cook, we just want it to simmer. And we don't want any of the water bubbles to go into the actual batter. For me, that's number three, but whatever medium low is for you. And then we'll just cover it, and we're gonna let this cook for 45 minutes. Don't be tempted to take them out earlier because they might look done on the outside, but in the middle they might still be um, soggy or not cooked. So 45 minutes, and then we'll get them out, and we'll add some chocolate on top. The chocolate cakes are ready, and we're gonna get them out right now. I've also prepared a little bit of chocolate sauce, and if you want the recipe for this chocolate sauce, they will be on my blog in the comments. Let's just get these out. Careful, don't drip any water on the cakes. And you'll have to be really careful because this is really hot. Here we go. There you go. Now, these are ready and you can see they don't even stick to the side of the dish, so it's really easy to get them out of your ramekin. All you need to do is place them upside down on a plate, swirl them around, give them a couple of taps, and it should be out. Yep, we're good. Look at this, how great does it look? It's so light and fluffy, texture is just amazing, and it tastes absolutely great. So let's just center this a bit, and we'll just add a little bit of chocolate sauce on top. And we are ready. You can side this with a little bit of whipped cream or with some vanilla ice cream. It's absolutely delicious. Look at it. It's so nice and fluffy, so rich in flavor. Trust me, you will love this. Now we're gonna go for the taste test, but first I get a little bit of vanilla ice cream. I'll see you in a second. And that's how you make poached chocolate cake. Guys, you have to try this. It's really amazing. Now, time for the taste test, but before we do, don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, if you like the recipe, leave us a like. It really helps the channel and it will help us grow. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. So let's go for the taste test. A little bit of ice cream, bourbon vanilla ice cream, and a little bit of fluffy cake. Check it out. Mm. Wow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.